This is a model 4000 Dremel tool. And I've had this for quite some time. I've taken it apart once and cleaned it and fixed the switch. But it's happened again where it kind of quits working and you can kind of squeeze it a different way and it might work for a little while. But um, I've done this before, so I decided uh, I just have to do it again, take it apart, clean it, and uh, put it back together. Figured I'd make a video this time. So there's there's five screws. These are like a T15 um, Torx. So just take take those out, and then just uh, oh, you have to unscrew this also. Just unscrew it from there. But you might have to twist it, align it to pop it off. Okay, once you do that, you're ready to separate the case. Now I've already done this one. But what you wanna do is just start, you know, gradually pulling that apart. And you need to decide which way everything is gonna go. You need everything to stay in one half initially. Um, so it doesn't, it doesn't matter which half, you can, you can pick either one. They're pretty much identical. And then you, you see this. And um, yours probably will not look this clean if you've used it before. It, it, it gets really, really dirty. Okay, so uh, what you need to do is take these little um, screws, screw heads off of the little springs. Now you gotta be careful not to drop anything because you may, you may lose some parts. Okay, so take these things off. The springs may or may not come out. Um, it's not a big deal. If they do, you can put them back in. You see that one right here. So that one will come out like that. Those are the brushes that push on the motor right there. Will not run without them. So you gotta, you gotta have all these parts, obviously. Um, okay, so what I would also suggest doing, you know, get you a, a blue marker. And it just, if, if you're gonna take these apart, um, mark that blue. Mark this side red, just in case, you never know. You might drop it, parts go flying, you gotta figure out what you've done. First thing to do, take a picture of it before you've messed with it. And you may need to go back to it. Um, but it, it's pretty straightforward. So this, this printed circuit board just has a slot it goes in. And you can just pull this out. Um, well, and you trust me, it comes out because I've already had this out. The, the interesting thing, that's the switch right there. That, that's actually what turns it on and off. Now you may ask, well, why is the switch way back there? And this is the probably my problem. I don't actually know what my problem this time is yet. But this switch sits right here. And when you push it up, that little tail, that little tail on the left-hand side of the blue plastic pushes that switch down in the back. It's just kind of an outrageous design. Let's see if you can hear it clicking. Okay, so I got my finger on that. And what happened before when I uh, did this was you would, you would pull the switch over and this thing just wasn't strong enough to push the switch down. So I don't, I don't know what the problem is right now. I'm just taking it apart, cleaning it, and kind of putting it back together. Uh, but anyway, so you, you just pull all this out. And I don't know if I can do it with one hand. But you can, you can gently pull it out. There might be some double-sided tape on one side or the other. This one seemed to only have it on one side. But don't, don't be worried if you have to pull it out. Um, you can do that. Okay, I had to rotate and get the phone. Um, let's see, is that working? Yeah, you can see that pretty well. All right, I'll just trust you can, you can see it. So you just pull this, oh, pop the electrical uh, strain relief little rubber piece out. Then this comes out, the printed circuit board like that. And then you just pop Pop it all out, okay, so so you can do that. And just get a, uh, get an air pressure uh, hose and just squirt this out. You will be amazed at how much stuff just comes out of all the coils. So clean it off real good, squirt it everywhere. Actually, I, I washed off the inside of these with water and soap. So then you, you can just put it back um, and you're not, it really only goes back together one way. So you, you, you can't, you just have to be patient and not push too hard at any one time. And you can 
get this back together. That will. Okay. All right, so that's that's close enough there. The uh, printed circuit board just has a slot. It just goes in just like that. Okay, so I uh, popped it out, put it back in. Now I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you this part uh, close up. It's, this is uh, a little bit complicated on this side right here. So let me get the phone again. These cutouts for the brushes um, obviously need to be aligned with this hole. So you just got to get those aligned. And here's a little trick right here. This little thing, this this blue wire, right in the middle. There we go. Okay, so that blue wire with the little U-type connection has got to be seated on the mount for the little brush, which is this. Okay, and actually it goes like this. So this goes back in and just plugs in right here. So what I'm going to do is, um, whoops, I'm going to get that back together with two hands and then I'll start again. Okay, I uh, got it got it together pretty well. Uh, if you have a little spring, just uh, the, if you find a little spring, it's a tiny one. It goes right here. This is for the, the little um, lock mechanism to put the bit in. And okay, so here's here's all the important stuff. So we got that blue thing underneath the brush holder, that brass piece there. So that that, that connection is in the correct place. I connected these back, you can see there. Um, now, here's part of the problem. I'm not really sure where this red wire needs to go. And I, I remember this last time I did this. Uh, it just doesn't look like it's in a great place. But here's the switch, let me show you. Um, so this is the blue switch. And so when you move this thing up, it just pulls this tail over Focus, focus. Pulls the tail of that switch, that plastic piece, over the, the black switch that really does the business. So, like that. And you can see, watch the left hand side of that, see how it's going up. So, if your Dremel tool just isn't coming on, that's what's happening. It's trying to push that switch down right here, but it's not doing it. Here it clicked. Yeah, see, so I'm clicking it down. Right now there's a little nub on that, on that piece that presses down on the back end of the blue switch. I'm going to point to it if I can right now. Boy, it's hard to find where these things are. Okay, so kind of pointing to it right now. So see that uh, gray piece? That's attached to here and it's pushing down on the back of the blue part to make sure that the black switch actually engages. So, um, and then that red wire, I guess just goes right there. Um, it seems, seems to be okay there. Focus. So, if we do this, you can hear it clicking. So that's what it's supposed to do. Um, so it looks like Looks like this should be working. Uh, I don't know why the Dremel tool uh, quit working. It could have been these brushes, could have been that it was dirty. I should have shown it to you. Well, it wasn't really all that dirty, but I mean, it was a lot of stuff came out of it when I when I blew it. So I'm gonna keep putting this together and see if I can turn it okay. on. Uh, got it plugged in. And um, what's gonna happen is, let's see, I got to, uh, Got my gloves on here, I don't want to get shocked. And I push the brushes against the, whatever that thing, rotor, stator, whatever that thing is. Um, you can see it'll start running and, and watch the blue switch. So I'm pushing, my top finger is pushing the brushes in and it's gonna click the switch. And then you can see it running. And what I was getting before sounded kind of like this. Like, like it just wasn't, like the, the brush just wasn't, wasn't really making good contact. It was just kind of like that. So, but if I, if I hold these down and then hold the motor body steady, 
There we go. Oh, I don't know if that brush might be worn out. You can get new ones. You can see the electricity the, the going there. I've got it turned down pretty slow. Let's see how it turned down. Smell a little bit too. Uh, I'm guessing maybe this top, this top brush, maybe, maybe I need a new, new little element in there. You can see right here. Okay, here's what I found out on the top, on this top brush. It wasn't free to to move up and down like the one on the bottom. And what I've seemed to have figured out is that little tab was bent too far in, was catching the spring. So I've bent that out just a little bit and I'm um, going to sand sand it down. That wire is soldered to the inside of that and it's a little, it's got a little um, sharp spot on it. So I'm just going to try and smooth that off and see if I can fix that. Okay, got it back in and you can see it, it does move up and down pretty freely. So I'm going to go with this and see if it works. So these pieces right here press down on the brass piece and I suppose these wires go go between here. So I guess you got to be pretty careful getting this back on. So let me see if I can do it. And what happened, what's happening is when I snug up the case, it's pressing this little tab that I just showed you back into the path of the spring so that the brush cannot move freely up and down inside this brass piece. So that's my diagnosis and I've got to figure out now uh, how to fix it. Okay, so after carving out a little bit of the plastic so that tab on the uh, brush guide that brass brass brush guide could uh, stay bent down out of the way of the spring um, seems to uh, seems to work pretty well you just gotta take your time and, and look all the way around it uh, when you um, put it back together and now that I'm thinking about it the probably the best way to take it apart is to get this part with the model number on the bottom because that has the holders for the brush guides in it on this side. I think that's a little, little bit better when you bring this one on top. Um, this thing's kind of a pain to get in this this clear piece. You just gotta work with it and gotta be careful not to lose that little spring that goes under there. I dropped it on the floor Took me 10 minutes to find it. Um, so anyway, now you know how the Dremel tool works.